there are four offset properties. And as we have learned from the previous video that an element is called a position element when its position has been changed from static to one of the available values such as relative, absolute, fixed, or sticky. Once an element has been given a value from those position values, its position on the page is determined by using the offset properties, which are top, bottom, left, and right. Those properties only work on position elements, so using them with static will not work. They can take values as a length or as a percentage, and the values can be positive or negative values. The length can be of any unit such as pixel, em, etc. And the percentage will be the percentage of the width or the height of the parent element. The offset properties work exactly as their name still. The top property, for example, move the element from top by the given value. Here in the example, it moves the element from top by 20 pixels. And the example on the right, the negative value does the opposite. It moves the element backward from bottom by 20 pixels. And the rest of the properties, such as left, right, and bottom, work the same. The bottom, for example, moves the element from bottom by the given value. And the negative value does the opposite. And the left move the element from left by 20 pixels. Here in the example. And the right move the element from right. In the coming lessons, we will learn how each position value works and how the offset properties work with them.